You could talk about who the face of the 90s was in Indians baseball, but we know the smile of the 90s was worn by Omar Vizquel. And he's going to be sporting that in Cooperstown someday in an acceptance speech. Do you agree with that? Yeah. OK. So why not get a statue of Omar? He was the most popular player here during one of the great decades in Indians history. Whether they won a World Series or not, that meant so much to those fans, the 90s. I say Omar Vizquel. So Larry Doby, Jim Tomey, Bob Feller, Frank Robinson, and now Lou Boudreau, right? Five. They have five. Do you want more? You need more statues? How many statues do you need? You add statues of everybody, you diminish the value. Are they coming to you looking for money to put no, statues you're out of room. You're out of room. There's no way to walk. You're going to walk into a statue everywhere. Don't go statue crazy. Speaking of Brock Osweiler. I'm going to bring up something. I'm going to add something here, which isn't surprising. I don't know the answer to this question. But Obviously. For instance, <laughs> and I know they have Monument Park at Yankee Stadium, so it's different. Do they have any statues there? Any statues? You walk around, you run into Babe Ruth and Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio. Chill out on the statues for a little while. You're good. Maybe wait till you win a World Series again. Okay, let's, do the, let's take the same approach with the Cavs then. And, and because they've hung too many banners up in their time. Well, make banners? LeBron James banners wait. Banners are up there. Make statues wait. are on the ground where you run into them. I want a LeBron statue, though. Omar Put Pascal. That up. Everybody agrees with me.